Like, how long? They're not going to get John canceled. How long have they been trying to get John canceled? Ever since I've known of John. <laughs> This is a strange story. A strange story and a career of strange stories. Please, please, I'm begging you. Leave me and my damn husband alone. Please leave us alone. We're not talking about you. There's no reason for you to talk about us. So please, just leave us alone. I am still sitting outside the hospital, okay? I'm still sitting outside. I'm not allowed in. So I'm in the parking garage. And I just want to, that's where I'm at. That's why it's so dark in here. Um, John was taken to the hospital by me. I drove him there personally, myself, because I don't know if it was because he was having a breakdown, a mental, like a mental, like crazy attack, a anxiety, asthma attack. I have no idea, but he could not breathe. I had to get in there because that's my world. That's my husband. So I have no idea. So also, like I said, you know, I'm still waiting outside the hospital in the parking garage because I can't be in there. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because John left his phone inside the car. And I had a friend that told me and went step by step by step on how to get me through this. We have been getting phone calls. We have been getting police call to our house. We have been getting death threats and nonstop text messages of people sitting here calling us and not even saying nothing. But then they'll just call and pick up and when we pick up the phone because we're like, okay, well, who the hell is this now? They'll be like, I hope you die. Go fuck your mother. Anything fucking happens to my husband from all these people, I will go right to the fucking police and I will give them every single information that I have of everything of that you guys have and said with your numbers and everything. That's all I have to say. So bye. I know I fucked up on the six months. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It began in a little town called the Jersey Shore in a cottage very close to the beach. A resort town where no one was there in the winter, but everyone was there in the summer, even Snooky. It all began ten years ago when two men began watching a little television show called 90 Day Fiancé and one of those men the one with the brown finger, started tweeting about it and going live on Periscope. And through the years, these two men, now husbands, have been through a lot while talking about this little 90-day fiancé television show. And we're going to tell you about everything that's happened. Everything you're going to hear in this story is true, except for the parts that are false. The brown-fingered man and his husband live in a quaint cottage by the beach that has no closets. Please don't mention having a closet because these two men won't like it. The cottage boys, as their fans like to refer to them, regularly go live in their cottage to talk about 90 Day Fiancé and sister brother wives and scream at all their middle-aged women haters. You wouldn't think that talking about a reality TV show on TLC would cause so much drama and strife, but it does. Here, listen to Cody Velvet. World. Listen to and Cody you're going Velvet. Back and back and forth from live to fucking live. Make sure you get your fucking facts straight. Because he's not sitting here yelling about goddamn fucking squirrels. So get your fucking shit straight, bitches. Come on now. Y'all are fucking too fucking old. Y'all should be planning like your funerals and shit like this. Like y'all are old as fuck. Come the fuck on. God damn. After what Jules said you about me and Brooke, Brooke, Brooke is faking John, being sick. Brooke, you like are old. Brooke's old. I'm old. She's old. Nobody fucking gives a fuck. Y'all are all fucking stupid. Grow the fuck up. Y'all are fucking 900 years old. Come on. Jesus fucking Christ already. Even Addy said you just didn't say that, babe. It doesn't matter what, what? we say or not say. Say or not say what? All I know is that I'm fucking up to my man tonight. What? I shouldn't say and what? And thank God you're not a squirrel. I should say what? Addy's defending you. Look. I know what I said. But what I, I can't see and I can't hear. I can barely even fucking talk. Velvet, G Velvet, go back and Shit. listen to what Jules said about me and Brooke earlier. And if you still feel that way, and I'll you know talk to you about it. Housewives, you know what we Velvet, need to I say love you. about you. And I'm not even trying to you can go fuck Velvet, yourself too. Velvet Pixie, I love you. I want you to go and watch Jules' earlier lies about me and Brooke. And then after you watch those, you come back and you tell me if you still feel the same way. And then we'll talk this out. You don't want to be in here. You can get no, Velvet's cool. No, 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 no. Velvet's cool. No, no, no. Velvet's cool. 
Velvet Squirrel. Oh, don't show me something I don't want to see, Cody. Oh, no, Cody. I just added up here. Don't show me something I don't want to oh, see, I Cody. I just added up here, honey. Oh, Jules sure just texted me that at 1238. No, it's what is that? It's not up here, but it was up here. Oh, it's up here. Now I'm going to go and call my friend, and I'm going to get it because she's reporting. Okay, that's awesome. that's awesome. Velvet, are you in the other chat right now? Speaking? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Also, housewives. Oh, housewives. You can sit there and threaten people and everything. Okay, else serenity. Because, no, that's because not. Because you're a federal employee, but yet you can say shit and people can't say shit back to you. So, bitch, watch out. Watch out, bitch, because you will be found out. You will be found out. Trust. Trust. You will be found out. Yeah, I need people who wants a double dip right now because we, we, we got lists going. So I'd be super, super careful if I were you, which, which, which fucking uh, ink you want to dip your pen into. Oh, and Chris Marie, you're very sloppy, by the way. That's what they're all saying. <laughs> I'm sloppy, but I'm the one that gets dick, bitch. No way. Ratchet. Hey, no, seriously, who likes that? Yeah. Just telling you. Velvet Pixie, you're and chatting you know and, and yes. I just saw and you I'm chatting in Jules' thing. After all these fucking texts I don't know if it's I got, you. Now I went into the fucking live to see my motherfucking self. So yes, I am. But the there's a now Velvet it. Pixie that matches your exact description in Jules' chat as we speak. So, and that's what Cody was showing me. I believe you. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, Velvet. Be careful. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, well, yeah. My, my judgment has not been great lately either. Careful. So, that, that's I'm all true. Come on. And she was just texting me yesterday after she texted Robin because I had the screenshots. So she texted Robin about wanting to expose me. Then she texted me, hey, what's going on? What a cunt. Wow. That is scary as shit. These people, like, I don't fucking mind. Don't get your fucking nails and fucking eyebrows. Don't that bitch. She's a psycho bitch. She must have caught an infection when she was doing nails. I gave her the benefit of the doubt, and I look like an idiot now for doing it. People get fooled. Good, good, people get fooled. And you know what? We're good people. That's how we always get fucking fooled. No. It's okay. <coughs> it's okay, bitch. Just started that rumor. That is why I came to you. No, I never, ever sent Penelope anything. Never told her to read. There's no screenshots. She's never going to find anything. Come up here and tell me in my face that I'm sloppy. Come up here and tell me how I'm sloppy. So, you know, like everybody want to be class a wrecking and, crew and everything. We're talking about studio gangsters. I haven't been around for this very reason. Oh, no caller IDs now calling me now. Now that Pick I, it up. Now that Pick I started it up. talking. Pick it up. Now I'm getting caller Pick IDs up. that are blocked. I'm not picking up anything until you show me your fucking name or your fucking phone number. Don't be a guy and call me with a blocked fucking number. We need a cash app right now. So, can, we get, can we get a twenty dollar cash app? Don't call me unless you're gonna show me your fucking number. We need a twenty dollar cash app right now. Who, who wants to give it to us? Johnny eight three two seven. Oh my god. What hurts the most is she was lies to me. Build a bridge and get over it. Um, hello. 
Hello, I can't you hear ya. Hello, you're gonna have to speak up. Hello? Hello? If you're gonna call, oh, at least speak. Come on. Come on. Do it's something. Like, come on. If you're Show gonna... me something. Don't be a bitch. Why, why are you gonna call if you're not gonna even say anything on the phone? Because you're a coward. I mean, you're, you're already from you're no garbage. Call, you're already blocking your number. So you're what the fuck? You're garbage. Shut up! Like, God, why call if you're not gonna follow through? They're garbage. They fucking nothing but fucking maggots and fucking yeast infections. That's what they are. But for women suffering with yeast infections, the number one recommendation of doctors is specific. Monistat. In Serenity? I still wanna know how to smock fucking day wait, Serenity wait, so, so you now, can so come now we don't shower. fucking clean balls. And bitch, I'll give you a fucking load that'll make you pregnant 20 times that your husband can't fucking do. Get the fuck out of here. Brenda Faye, my name on Facebook is Christy Marie. I'll show no, you my Facebook. No, somebody else's fucking pussy, bitch. You got some still some hair up there from fucking Amber's bush. So go ahead and wipe your fucking mouth, whore. That's my Facebook. Anybody that wants it? Okay, call me deranged. I don't give a fuck what you guys call me. I don't give a fuck. Make sure you spell it right. I wake up to myself feeling great every fucking day. So, how would you I know if Cody? Hard. How do you know when Cody showers? Because does Cody look dirty? Yeah. Because they that, does our house look dirty? Yeah. Our house is immaculate. You can just take a shower and I'm um, No way. So, Missy, tell me how, um, how you had a shit outside of Siwa's house because you couldn't shit in the toilet because it was so dirty. In Serenity, if you're going to write a text, he make sure you write house. House. I had to clean the... Sure I didn't shit outside. outside. <laughs> I'm not a dog. <laughs> I cleaned it. I cleaned the bathroom before I used it. It wasn't... I never was at Siwa's house. Um, oh, oh, so you just had to clean. I was, oh, it was Amber's, Amber's house. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amber's, Amber's toilet was so dirty and I shit outside. Amber's house was so dirty and I shit outside. That's right. I, I forgot, you know. And they want to call us dirty. Listen, guys, 3.0. And this is Fuck somebody with a maid. Fuck Remember? all of If y'all want to make a living talking shit about me, I will make four times a fucking living talking shit about you.